Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and today I'm doing a guide on the secret battle pet Jennifer, which has evaded the secret finding community in Retail WoW for, I believe, about a year. It's been a while since I made a video, and this kind of popped up, and I thought, right, I've been waiting on this for quite a while, so we're going to jump straight into it. So to begin this secret, you need to head to Ashenvale in Kalimdor. You want to head just to the western side of the map, just above the shrine of Asena here, where I am there. You'll find a new NPC that was added in patch 8.2 called Amara Lunastar. She will offer you one dialogue option. So just select that, and once you've done that, this will be the secret started and your quest for Jennifer begins. So, the second part of this quest will take you to Elwyn Forest, a bit easier if you're the Alliance, and just between Northshire Abbey and Stormwind, there is one very small hut on the map there, and this is full of cats, and it has the crazy cat lady in. Once you head in, head to your right, and on the floor here will be a clickable empty dish. Click the dish, and if you've done it correctly, you will get a grey dialogue box pop up like so. Once you've done that, you can now move on to the next step of the secret, Secret, which is to head to Karazhan. So, you know where Karazhan is in Deadwind Pass, not too far from Elwyn Forest at all. And once you head here, you will have two different entrances. If you're unfamiliar with Karazhan, you have the TBC entrance, which is the front gate. We're going to ignore that, and you're going to fly all the way up here to the Legion entrance, which is the Return to Karazhan dungeon. Once inside, I'm just going to run all the way to where we need to be and speed up the footage, just in case you're unfamiliar with the layout or you've not done this before. You know the deal. So you want to follow where I'm going in the video all the way to the Opera event, which is the very first boss in the Return to Karazhan dungeon. So head here, do the boss, and then keep going all the way down under the stage, all past the actors. You don't have to kill all these mobs. I just am killing all the mobs. And I would need, I need the grizzly trophies, let's be honest. And once you do this, you will head into the... I, I guess kind of like the bigger part of the opera event in terms of it's just where the audience sit. Clear out all the mobs from here. This bit is quite important because you're going to need this space later. As you can see, this room is laid out a bit like a grid. We're going to be coming back to that in a bit. For now though, just head out of that room all the way to the end of the corridor, down the stairs into this area of the dungeon, and you want to head towards the second boss. You don't have to kill the second boss unless you really want some loot. Clear out all of the mobs here, and then we can move on to the next step of the secret. Now if you've done it correctly up to this point, you can now click a load of special food items around the dungeon that are very small and easy to miss. The first one is just on the floor here, and it is a juicy drumstick. Once you click one of these items, it will go into your inventory for five minutes. So you do have to be quick, and you do have to follow exactly where I'm going in the video, because out of all of the items in the dungeon, you're only going to need eight of these to actually obtain Jennifer. So the second one is just behind the chair next to the juicy drumstick. This is one of the fishy bits. Then head to the table opposite you, and on the table will be one of these ribs. Click that rib, and then we're going to be heading off to somewhere else where we get some of the other pieces. So you're just going to be heading back up the way we came from. So just head up the stairs into this area, and this one is actually really annoying to spot. This one was actually located on the golden outer lining of this rug here. I had to edit out some time where I couldn't find it, and just on the edge there, Click that, and that is your marbled stake, I believe. So that is four out of eight items. We're halfway there. So now we're going to head into this corridor on the right, into the guest chambers. Next to this bookshelf here, there will be another clickable item. This is your meaty morsel. Click that. We're now five out of eight. Then, just behind you, really, I'm going to open the map here, just for a point of reference. And you just want to head to this area here. This is where your next fishy bit will be. Now we're 6 out of 8. Follow the corridor towards the Maiden, and you're going to want to take a left into this room. I did clear it out of all mobs, so you can see there's a bit of a jump cut there. And this one is located just behind the chair. It took me a minute to kind of discover where it was hiding. This is your next stake. And then follow into this room here, just next to this chair on what looks like a footrest, is your last juicy drumstick. Now we have all 8 pieces that we need to continue the secret. Now we move on to the final step where we're going to head all the way back to the Opera Hall. 
Like I said, it's not very far from where we were. And you remember me saying this room looks like a grid. This is very important because the items that you've now looted can be placed down on the floor. And you're going to be placing them in very specific areas. So you want to stand where I'm standing right now. This grid here, just next to this very left bench, you're going to want to place your first juicy drumstick here. Then we're going to be following a diagonal pattern. So you're going to want to move one to the right and one up. And we're going to be placing our first stake on the ground. Then we're going to be doing the exact same thing, but placing our fishy bits. Then we're going to be going up one again, you guessed it, and we're going to be placing our only meaty morsel in the middle here. Then one to the right and one up, we're going to be placing our second stake. At this point you will now have three items left. Next we're going to be going one to the right, and then we're going to be going up one, up two, and then finally up three to this box here. It's easy to spot because it's the box just in front of the like bench on its side and we're going to be placing the rib that we found next to the second boss. Then one up diagonally again, we're going to place our last juicy drumstick and then one down and to the right we're going to be placing our last fishy bit. If you've done all of this correctly, Jennifer will now appear. I didn't know where she appeared so I had to do a quick slash target. I was panicking because I didn't know if she despawned if I wasn't quick enough. Head to the spot that Jennifer is hiding and you will be able to click her. Once you click her, you will get a petting cast bar. Once the cast bar is complete, Jennifer will be added into your pet collection. And that's that secret done. Crazy secret, went for a, a year, undiscovered. There's a very long guide on Wowhead explaining all the steps that I've demonstrated with full credit to the people that discovered it. I believe one guy in particular figured it out and it was quite crazy and hard to understand. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Obviously, I will hopefully be back doing a lot more videos in Shadowlands. I've been taking a bit of a break at the moment just during the downtime of BFA. But that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more guides and videos, especially for Shadowlands. And I will see you next time.